How's it going, guys? Today, I want to talk about the 10 things that Filipinos absolutely need to survive. Let's go. All right, first up, number 10, the internet. Actually, maybe this should be one because it's kind of the one thing that powers a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about. In the Philippines, internet usage is so high. People can live without a lot of things here in the Philippines, but the internet is definitely not one of them. And listen, that's the same probably around the whole world. But if you look at social media usage and a lot of other things like that, Philippines often ranks number one in uses of social media and other stats related to that. So internet is without a doubt one of the main things Filipinos need to survive. Next up, number nine is cell phone. So in the Philippines, people get cell phones pretty young. Even if people don't have a lot of money in the family, it seems like cell phone lists up there pretty high and one of the things that people are gonna get. Also same as a lot of Western countries as well, but you're just gonna find no matter where you go, people are always on their cell phones. Even if it's friends catching up for a while, it's like the cell phone is always there and in effect. And sometimes when you go out here for first times with people and you just wanna chat, it's like you'll see right away some people are just on their cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. So without a doubt, cell phone is one of the things that Filipinos really prioritize over here. Next up, number eight that Filipinos need to survive is TikTok. So Filipinos are huge on social media in general, but the overwhelming majority of Filipinos are going to be scrolling endlessly through TikTok after TikTok after TikTok, giggling, laughing, sharing from the time people wake up in the morning, on their break time, dinner time, before they go to bed, TikTok is alive and well in the Philippines and people really use it as a pretty major form of entertainment over here. Now, it's not just watching dancing videos or funny videos and stuff like that. People use TikTok to sell, people use TikTok to buy, people use TikTok to communicate. It's really a pretty big part of the culture over here. Next up, number seven, Facebook Messenger. So when it comes to communicating online, Messenger is a really huge part of things. I find even myself here now, I just use Facebook Messenger for everything. It's one of the apps that I have open on my phone or even on my computer pretty regularly, whether that's for personal, whether that's for business. I just find more and more people are using Facebook Messenger over here in the Philippines. Now, one of the reasons why that happens here in the Philippines is because it's free to use. Facebook got pretty smart and they have Facebook Lite over here in the Philippines and other countries where internet or paying for the internet or internet speeds are sometimes a bit of a struggle. And so Facebook has really high adoption over here. And definitely Facebook Messenger is a big part of that. Next up, number six, Filipino humor. Now humor is really a cultural thing and it's different all around the world. But I find that Filipinos need humor to survive in life, whether it's scrolling through TikTok videos, like I mentioned, or funny videos and other places of life. Filipinos almost have kind of like in America, I would say kind of like a slapstick humor, just very silly. Like you wanna not laugh at it sometimes, but you're gonna find yourself laughing at it anyhow. And I find that Filipinos use humor in everyday life just to make them smile, make themselves feel good, and definitely to make it through a lot of challenges in life. All right. Halfway there, number five, Filipinos need Jollibee. All right, so I'm joking a little bit about this, but I find that Jollibee is also one of those super big creature comforts over here. There's a lot of province areas where there's not even a Jollibee, so people might measure if it's like, you know, becoming a real town over here based on if there's a Jollibee or not, or suddenly it would be a big deal if there wasn't one, and all of a sudden, surprise, we have a Jollibee now in our town. But it's really the place that so many Filipinos go for a cheap meal that they really love the taste of. Even on YouTube, you're gonna find a lot of comparison videos like Jollibee versus KFC chicken. And so often, even people in the US are gonna pick Jollibee over KFC or other chicken places. And definitely Filipinos as well really love their Jollibee. Number four related to that is merienda. So merienda means like snacks. And Filipinos, I don't know how they stay so skinny over here, but they'll have like, wake up, you need a snack, then you need breakfast, then you need like a morning snack, then you need lunch, then you need a snack, then you need a snack for your snack, then you need dinner, then you need more snacks. Like Filipinos really are in their merienda, their snacks over here. It's definitely part of life. Even for me, there's a snack lady that comes into our office at work and everybody's like, hey, the snack lady's here. And then everybody will go out. And mostly there's just a lot of little like kind of cheap, you know, type of snack food over here that people really love. 
And I think part of it is a social thing as well. They just love sharing snacks with each other. Like, hey, what do you got? Uh, this is what I got today. How about you? This is what I got. And so it's just a communal type of thing with people sharing with each other, eating, enjoying. Food is definitely a big part of life over here in the Philippines. All right, we're getting down to our top three. Now, these are the heavy hitters, the things that truly, in all seriousness, Filipinos need to survive. Third is rice. Now, a lot of people are gonna wonder why this isn't number one, but just hang in there a little bit longer and you will see why. So rice goes with everything over here. I mean, no matter if you're eating just like a very simple meal or if you go out to a nice restaurant, like I've been out to nice restaurants with Filipinos and like there might be like a nice piece of salmon or like a steak or like something even out of the ordinary, kind of expensive that people don't eat every day over here. And if it comes with something that's just like some vegetables on the side or something like that, you are gonna see a visible look of disappointment and they're gonna say, did this not come with any rice? Now, Filipinos don't even complain, right? So if they're even complaining, like, just even gently, like, is there no rice with this? And then next up, they're gonna say, okay, they're gonna have to like flag down the waiter, waitress and say, can I order a side of rice with this? And then they're just gonna let that piece of food get cold, but they don't even mind because they won't even take a first bite of that food unless there's some rice to take a bite of that with. Rice is life in the Philippines. And it's definitely very, very high up on there of what Filipinos need to survive. Even Filipinos that I've talked to that have gone overseas and their number one thing they notice is like, man, like there's not enough rice in this plate. Rice is life, ask any Filipino. All right, number two of what Filipinos need to survive is family. The family support system in the Philippines is pretty legendary. You really see how much time people love spending together. People definitely are happy for their kids to live with them until the kid is 93. There's just very different cultural feelings about what families are like. If a kid does successful and they know their parent, you know, struggled uh, for a lot of their life financially, that kid is just going to grow up to really want to make sure that their parent is in a better space. It's really just a beautiful thing over here. Filipinos love their family. All right. So what could be number one if family is number two, if rice is number three, number one thing that Filipinos need in the Philippines to survive is Meritez. All right, so this is a little bit tongue in cheek, but it is so much a part of everyday life. Meritez means gossip and is just definitely part of things over here. I think for me, it is very similar to like getting some snacks or Filipino humor, just really a part of like coping with everyday life over here. People love to just like gossip with each other. Friends are going to get together. Hey, come over here. Let me talk to you about this or this. And I got to even say me living over here for a while. I've never been a gossiper, but in the Philippines, I do got my gossip buddies over here where it's just like, we're going to share everything about life together. And it's not mean spirited for the most part. It's really just people like chatting with each other, talking about what's going on in their, you know, social circle or their family or work or you know, different things like that as well. And so Meritez pervades a society over here. Gossip is alive and kicking in the Philippines. And it's not all such a bad thing as you might think. I think it's just really people getting closer with each other and sharing life with each other. So these are my top 10. I would definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment below. You agree, you disagree. Would you change the order around? I definitely would wanna know what your number one is. Drop that in the comment below. Let me know if there's anything else that you would add to this list as well. Listen, if you haven't subscribed already and are enjoying these videos, I would very much love if you would share them with others, subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. Take care. <laughs>